You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey everyone, welcome back to CES Live. I am standing next to Adam Zeiss. I am Adam Zeiss. Who am I, Adam? Rene Ritchie. I am Rene Ritchie. It has been so long I've already forgotten my name. We are continuing the proud tradition of CES Live. We're focusing on wearables this morning. Who's up next, Adam? This is Lindsay with Fitbit. Yes. You got oh, the name nice right. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> so excited. Lindsay, how are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. So uh, everybody knows Fitbit, especially our audience. They all know Fitbit. Yeah. But they may not know what's new with Fitbit. Yep. Well, let me tell you about it. We're actually really excited at the show this week. Um, we announced three new trackers back in October, but two of them are actually going available for broad release today. We got Fitbit Charge HR right here and Fitbit Surge. And so um, Fitbit Charge HR is an advanced fitness tracker that helps measure your all day and workout heart rate continuously, as well as all day activity tracking um, and caller ID right on your wrist, um, dedicated to more active folks. And then we've got Fitbit Surge, which is our super watch. It has the best of GPS, continuous heart rate monitoring, all day activity tracking, and smartwatch functionality in one device. All right, so when you say GPS, my battery heart flutters. Uh, how come? <laughs> because traditionally you hear the word GPS and you just like you see location and you just see your battery go with it. Okay. But I'm guessing you guys pay special <laughs> attention to that? Yeah, absolutely. So the very fantastic thing about Fitbit Surge is the battery life is seven days. Um, so you can actually last up to a week without having to charge. Awesome. So you, did, you mentioned three different, are you looking at this as a range of products for different lifestyles? That's exactly it. So we know we have a very broad audience of consumers and, and historically Fitbit's focused a lot more on everyday consumers, focused on tracking their all day activity. With Charge HR and Fitbit Surge, we're actually going into a more active consumer base. So people want to track things like GPS to get um, more advanced performance metrics and really use it for more active exercise and workouts. And so the whole goal is now that we have a whole range of fitness trackers that meet your different lifestyles, no matter whatever your fitness goals may be. And people like Adam could start off at the very bottom and then work their way up to the watch? Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Renee. You're welcome. That's pretty much what I did, because I had a, a Fitbit Flex for quite a while, and yeah. then I got the Charge when it first came out, yeah. and then I went up to the Surge, and they've been, since been shipped off to our, our good friend Robert, who did yeah. reviews, which we posted on Connectedly. But I like them both. I'm a big smartwatch wearer, so I found it hard to adopt the Surge for the short time I had it, just because I wear a smartwatch, and it doesn't have the full notifications that a smartwatch has where it does, because it just does the, the phone calls it, and the text it, messages it, it, right it's now. It's focused right? right now on text and call. Okay. And, and I think um, part of the goal with uh, Fitbit Surge is really to be a great fitness device sure. first. And so it's focusing on uh, using that GPS data, mm -hmm. focusing on um, pure pulse continuous heart rate tracking. So that's all day and workout tracking, um, you know, with five to seven battery life to, um, mm -hmm. depending on the device. And so um, we're adding great smartwatch features like, you know, text and call notifications. Mm -hmm. If you're on a workout or if you're in your day and you want to get access to like your key data, you have it. Sure. But really fitness has always been our number one focus. Yeah, I mean, I think that's good because I know a lot of people, you know, like my wife goes out running and she'll, you know, if there's emergencies or something like that while you're out running and you want to be able to look at it. But she's, she's a big fan of tracking things. And we yeah. too, we do our Mobile Nations Fitness Month or we kind of stretched it out to a year this year, but <laughs> yeah. we always use Fitbits, you know, and we kind of battle and see who's going to get the most steps and do the best workouts and things like that. So it's it's been big to us just to, to have them and especially the battery life. I'm not a big fan of charging things. Yep. Um, so I You're not plug a fan my. Of charging I don't things. like charging things. I like yeah. to plug my phone it's in every night. But I like to have everybody. something that I can strap on my wrist and just leave it on yeah. for a couple days at a time at least and not have to worry about it. Yeah, I mean that's the idea. You put it on and go, mm -hmm. and you really don't have to worry about it. You talked yeah. about being, you know, you know, motivated, and sure. um, as part of uh, CS2, we're announcing a lot of new fantastic interactive features that are okay. all about making fitness tracking easy, more effortless, more motivational. And so we're announcing that um, we have some public challenges that'll become available soon. We just okay. launched group challenges. You can oh, actually nice. compete with up to eight people Whoa. in your Fitbit community um, every day. And we, we know that if you have actually one other friend on your um, Fitbit dashboard, you're 27% more active. And oh, so wow. the whole idea is about making it easy to engage with what, your community. What do you do if you think your boss is cheating? Like he's just always <laughs> ahead of you on the list and you know that he's sitting in front of a computer all day um, and you, you suspect he might have strapped it to a small animal or something and let it run around the house. <laughs> I don't know how to solve for that one. Um, <laughs> but, Some kind uh, of authentication system, I, did, I expect. Yeah. So you have both of them there. How yeah. do you sort of, what kind of customers do you see gravitating towards which of the devices? Yeah, so I mean, I think with Charge HR, you're going to be focused on people that are doing like 
re regular workouts. Um, so not only they want to track their all day, but also, you know, a gym workout, going on a run, um, you know, no matter, you know, what fitness tracking that they do. So more active consumers is really the audience for this. Um, you know, Fitbit Surge is going to be about folks that really want to reach their peak performance. So they're really trying to achieve their personal best, or they just really like, want the hot, most high-end device with the most feature set. Um, but you know, the people, latest, that, the greatest. people that are going to willing to pay more <laughs> for G GPS, sure. um, you know, on the device. And the cool thing about um, Surge is it's really a sleek tracker. If you look at a lot of like GPS sports watches yeah. out there, um, they're not connected. They look military they don't, issue. They, they do, <laughs> they do, they're really clunky. And so this is the whole idea of how do you bring like great fitness functionality and something you want to wear all day. Show sure. Some of the features that we have on there? Absolutely, so this is Charge HR, so you can see here, you got my step count for Does the day. Does the HR stand for something? Um, heart rate. Heart rate, nice. And uh, oh, heart rate, really high. You can see I'm on camera, <laughs> 129. Um, you got like distance, right calories, floors climbed, um, and, and the uh, time. So let's okay. not forget that it's also an important watch. <laughs> um, and then with um, Fitbit Search here, you can see you got the time. You can actually go through your daily stats. So took 7,500 steps, my heart rate, um, my miles, calories burned. You can go in and go into different exercise what modes. What kind of display is it? Um, um, it's um, an LCD display. Oh, LCD. So you got your... Um, your, you can say that I'm going on a hike or spinning, um, yoga, workouts. Yoga. Um, All I can your actually most begin. common use cases. Exactly, so um, it, a key, key is having this multi-sport mode, and so you can actually go in and go, um, you know say that you're going and doing weights, you're doing the elliptical, and track that specific workout summary. They go to your Fitbit dashboard, and then you can actually see a whole summary, like you can see the split times that you've worked in, and it really starts tracking your trends over time. You mentioned prices before. Yeah. What are we looking at the difference Absolutely. between the models? Um, so Charge HR has, um, is $149.95. Fitbit Surge is two forty nine ninety five. Right. So, so really, still really accessible. Really competitive. I mean, if you think about our broad range of trackers, we're not talking about the clip based trackers today. Mm -hmm. um, we have you know Flex, which are other wristband, which retailers for ninety nine ninety five. So everywhere from fifty dollars all the way up to two hundred and fifty dollars, you can choose um, you know the tracker that's going to best fit your lifestyle. And, and it yeah, works sorry, across but, Android, iOS, yep. Windows um, Phone as well, right? Um, yes. So that's really key. The real exciting news is actually the show. We realized we're at over 150 different devices that we're now connecting with across mm -hmm. Android, uh, Windows, and iPhone. With okay. Windows, we actually just recently announced with Microsoft Cortana, a really cool mm -hmm. integration. Sure. So if you um, are using a Windows phone and you um, say, t for instance, to Cortana that you ate spaghetti for dinner, it'll actually um, you know, log it directly into okay. your app. You can record activities it'll say like, that oh, way as Adam, well. Oh, Adam, carbs, <laughs> really, <laughs> yeah, and exactly. log it for you. Oh. Um, but you know, it's all about making it easy for people sure. to track their fitness. Uh, and so you, you mentioned iOS, Android. I know this has been asked before, HealthKit for iOS. Yeah. That's still? You know, we've always been, Fitbit's always been about um, partnerships and trying to make people, you know, get the use out of the data that they're really interested in. And so that's why we've always had an open API. We work with um, you know, hundreds of popular health and fitness apps. Um, with HealthKit, Google, um, Microsoft, all of these different platforms, you know, that part of it is something we're still evaluating. A lot of the features haven't fully been revealed, and so we're going to continue to be dedicated to our mission of, of working with others, get people the data they want in the places it, um, that they care about. Um, but you know, those, some of that stuff is really new, so we're still evaluating it. And so, Again, I'm gonna, I keep asking this question, but I really like it. What are your favorite things to use these for? What do you do? Yeah, to come I mean, honestly. Um, Thanks, Adam. <laughs> I was looking at her, not yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Her, not um, you. So, like, personally, I use it a lot. Um, I, I find all day activity is always valuable. You just can't underestimate how important it is to see how much you're tracking every day. Sure. Um, you know, when you're tracking gym workouts, I think that's one of the coolest new features. Is like seeing your specific workout summaries is really important. For me, it's also a lot about the sharing, competing with friends. Mm -hmm. I compete with my husband every week, and so we, you know, look at where we are at in the leaderboard. Even all of my my Fitbit. Um, friends at work, we compete all the time, and right. are even working in as part of challenges this week to see who's getting the most steps at <laughs> CES, and so all that stuff's really motivational, and it's about seeing your trends over time, which makes. Can a I difference. get it in a color other than black? Absolutely. So um, Charge HR is going to come in four different colors: so black, plum, orange, as well as blue, or tangerine and blue, um, and then Surge is going to come in um, black blue and tangerine, and actually, nice. um, as I mentioned earlier, you can go literally to Fitbit's websites to 
um, today to major retailer websites and um, find these new products because they've just gone on market. Our so chat room is thanking you for Cortana over and over and over oh, again. Fantastic. We have, we have a lot There's of a loyal audience. Fans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, are they only online right now or are they going to be in stores? Absolutely, they're going to be showing up in stores um, at the end of this month um, in North America, um, which is international distribution shortly thereafter. And we had a, I, it went by too quickly, I think it was guest seven, seven something, wanted to know how accurate is the heart rate stuff? My guess is like, for this kind of, for fitness stuff, you're not in an emergency room, right? Um, so you, you just need it to be fairly good. Yeah, no, I, I actually think that the, the our, our research team spent years focused on dedicating on how do you get your heart rate on the wrist, super accurate, so you don't need those uncomfortable heart sure. rate chest straps. So they've tested it against, um, you know, other heart rate chest straps on the market, um, and really are only seeing a small percentage difference. Um, so really dedicated, really you know, it's going to depend on whatever activity you do and mm -hmm. how much motion Not you're bringing to the device. Not playing I'm sorry, <laughs> chat room, no, that doesn't mean. <laughs> but, um, but you know, um, it's completely de dedicated to getting the most accurate heart rate on your wrist. For sure. All right, so where can we find out more information about this? Absolutely, um, you know, come by our booth if you're at the show. Go to Fitbit.com, check out literally this, the, the website launched this morning with all the, you know, we had actually the details on there, but now you can buy them. But check out all of the different products there. And you guys um, have fantastic we, apps as well. Um, absolutely, yeah, check out our apps. Just download the Fitbit app. You can use the Fitbit app itself just to track. Yep. Um, get one of our great trackers and, um, you know, use it with um, with your Fitbit tracker. See, that's one of my favorite things is once you start having motion in the, in the phone, when you load down the app, it, it has like a week of your activity already, mm -hmm. and that's motivational. If I look at zero, I'm like, ah, oh, it's a zero, <laughs> I'll just sit on the sofa. But if it's like, I actually walked yesterday, I don't want to yeah. stop now, I keep <laughs> going. Yeah, absolutely, and so, so if, if you're just happy to carry your phone, you, use our app to track, but people find a lot of key benefits of having absolutely. trackers, it's much more convenient. But it's a good way to get them um, in, right? Better get, battery they life. They get into the Fitbit world, sure. and then yeah. they want more and more and more, and suddenly exactly. they're wearing a watch. Absolutely. Um, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> awesome, thank you very much. So it's Lindsay from Fitbit, so yes, thank you, you Adam. are correct. It's Lindsay from Fitbit. Thank you. thank you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks really for appreciate it. Thank you so cameras. much, Lindsay. Fitbit, awesome. I'm getting three of them. Why? One for each limb. One for each arm. One for each, three for each can arm. I can I show you <laughs> one more setting Absolutely. announcement? Absolutely. Um, we're uh -oh. actually announcing soon multi-device support. So you can actually Whoa. wear more than um, one different Fitbit, which will be really exciting. So that you connect up exciting. to five different trackers on. Uh, I'm going to put them on different people and then have like huge. Like, like it's I'm going to finally win the Office Fitbit challenge. One for each leg. Thank you so much, Lindsay. I really appreciate it. Thanks very much. All right, so that was Lindsay from Fitbit. Adam, you blown away? I am blown away, and I just want to throw in that we actually have a really good Fitbit page at Connectedly where we have all the Fitbit devices. It's connectedly.com slash Fitbit, and you can find info on the Surge and the Charge and the Charge HR and the Flex and all the Zip and the One and all other kinds I, of things. I have been to Connectedly. Like There's also a CES Live page at Connectedly, too. You can go to connectedly.com slash CES Live. And you can go to geekbeat.tv slash giveaways to, to uh, act, register to win for tons of cool stuff. For lots of cool stuff. All right, awesome. You are? I'm still Adam Zeiss. You're still Adam Zeiss? Absolutely. I'm still Renee Ritchie. This is CS Live. We're going to go on a quick break, but we're going to be back with more stuff. Yet more stuff. I don't know what that was.